Hello everyone and welcome to my new Let's Look At. Today we're going to be looking at the protagonist in its demo form. Now the protagonist is about a dude who's about 30 years old, still living in his father's basement. It's a point and click adventure game and this guy does not have the most self-confidence or self-esteem. And if you have ever had trouble at home or ever got berated by your parents, this is probably going to bring up a few negative memories in the game, but don't worry, it's not all going to be negative emotions. But you gotta start somewhere, right? Otherwise there's like no conflict to build off of. Granted, my father never really went off on me verbally quite like his father did, but... You know, to be fair, I was never 30 living in his basement either, but I still don't think that was exactly called for. So this dot, this guy just really wants to... Well, shapeshift into a character from TV. Who the hell hasn't wanted to be a superhero or a romantic lead? You know, it's probably better life than you have. Or I have, anybody has. It's more exciting. And besides, who has ever had who yeah, who has not ever had a dream of being Batman? I sure have. Granted, I think in my dream I think I killed somebody with a battering because I didn't know how to throw it, but the point remains, okay, I have dreamt about being Batman. Who hasn't? Or Batgirl, rather. D doesn't matter, anyway. And if you don't remember this dilemma, you have never watched the Adam West Batman. Granted, in this one, it's not quite as hilarious as running down the street. But, you know, it's, you still gotta figure out what to do with that bomb. And you're not really in a great position to do that. Ah, oh, yes. Some days you just can't get rid of a bomb. But, I mean, you gotta at least look on the bright side. He's probably got some shark repellent in there. I mean, that's gonna help. I mean, when you get down to it, you gotta have some shark repellent when you're dealing with bombs. Okay, to be fair, I'll stop with the Adam West stuff right now. So now we're going to be an artist. It may look like we're a psychiatrist trying to take advantage of our patient. However, it, we're not. We're artists. And if you can't handle pixel bubes, I guess you're probably going to report this video. Hopefully you're not going to, though. Obviously there's nothing explicit here. There's not even a, uh, well, let's just not let's get off that subject. Anyway. Oh dear, that doesn't look too good. How do you draw hands? These are not questions that you really want your artist, who you probably paid very good money to draw you, to end up saying. I mean, maybe if you went to, like, an amateur and you were trying to get, like, a... I don't know, some kind of, like, ironic piece or, like, abstract thing, because that is just a bunch of squiggles. <laughs> exactly. Um, you'd probably be a good abstract artist. You're just not really what you call a good... I, I don't know what you call those artists. Anyway, now we're apparently on something akin to America's Got Talent. Oh, well, there you go. TV's Got Talent. <laughs> Mind you, I've never watched America's Got Talent. This is completely new to me. You know, to be fair, that sounds really good. I could not play a guitar that well. I willingly admit that right now in front of all of you, I can't play any musical instrument. But the judges do not care about your I'm impressed with that. The judges are not impressed. Probably because, you know, if you ever do end up on America's Got Talent, they would never be impressed with... This? This guy looks familiar. Obviously, if you have the memory better than I do, You'll remember that this guy is a representation of his father. Now this is where everything gets real. As far from a storyline perspective, this is where it all happens, baby. Right here. In, in reminiscent of Matrix with the quotes and, you know, all this stuff, you can probably see what's going to happen here. Or if you have, if you cannot tell, then... Well, let's be honest, you're probably not very well versed in movie or, hell, just storyline, makeup, or structure. Which is fine, you know, we're not all writers. Anyway, is he gonna get up at the, before the count of zero? Which, I, by the way, you're counting the wrong way if you're, if you're doing boxing, for the record. You should go start at one and go to ten for developers, not, not berating them, just telling you. For authenticity's sake, you probably want to do that in the future. If you ever make a full release of this, which I really hope that you do. So, by this point, if you're playing along at home, which maybe you are, maybe you're not, by the way, if you want this, to play it at home, I will put the link where I got it in the description below, and I will also give any relevant links to the developer below in case you want to support them as well. Now, if you've noticed, this is not exactly a, you know, game game. This is kind of like an interactive, um, well, dialogue, really. I mean, it's a point-and-click adventure. You do have to click on certain areas, as you've seen, but... I mean, let's face it here. This is not exactly 
you know, Sam and Max here, which I'm not saying every point-and-click adventure game has to be Sam and Max. This is only a demo, and they made it in three days. And for those three days, this is an exceptional piece of software, I might add. But still, I mean, you can tell this is not what you call AAA in any, any stretch of the imagination. Anyway, things seem to be going quite a bit better for our protagonist. He can actually draw hands. He's not saying, oh dear, that looks like crap, which is, you know, indicative of, uh, well... Apparently, when you have self-esteem, everything just kind of works. I don't know what kind of optimistic philosophy that is, but, uh... Hell, it's better than the one he had before, and I love the drawing, by the way. It's like something even I could draw right there. Oh, stick figures. Okay, so still, how do you propose we get rid of this bomb? There's no way that bomb's fitting in the hole. He's not gonna just throw it out there with a bunch of people. It can't fit through the window, so what do you do? What do you do? I honestly had no idea. I should have picked it up in movies, but yeah. You quite literally just snuff it out with your hands. So now that all the dreams are taken care of, now we get the epilogue of sorts. It's a very short demo, but like I said, I, I hope they do make a full game out of this. I really enjoyed the storyline of this. It start, it's a little cliche, but you know, what story isn't, right? I mean, every story's been told a hundred times already over the course of human history. Ah yes, this is the hopeful portion. The one that, uh, that actually gave me one tear in my eye and rolled down because I always wanted to have this conversation, but I was never brave enough to do so with my own father. Of course, I probably would just walk away at, at the midpoint of this because I wouldn't be wanting to have this conversation, but, you know, I, I, that's the reason I don't have this happy ending, alright? I mean, no, really, that's it. That, that's the ending. It is a fun little game and it is heartwarming. But, I mean, if you don't want to play it, well, you at least watched it. And hopefully I shall see you guys next time. If you'd like to help support the channel, you may wish to like or even subscribe. Farewell, everyone. Until next time.